Hey guys, Hui Raptor here with one more step-by-step -step video on how to assemble the Devo Black Widow. Today we will assemble the vertical beams. Start by taking out two red end plates and the B5 back. Take only two bearings from the back. Place the bearings in the recess. It must be a tight fit. If you notice that the bearing moves inside the recess, then you need to add a shim to it. The community guide suggests to use a piece of paper, which is actually a great idea. Cut a piece of paper and check the length you will need using the bearing itself and cut as many as you need. Place the piece of paper first and the bearing next. Now, cut what's left of the paper. Screw the bottom end plates to the C beams. Just the bottom ones, do not install the top end plates yet. When installing the vertical beams, there are two important aspects you need to worry about. One of them is the squareness of the beams. They need to be perfectly aligned and at 90 degrees. The other important aspect is the distance between the vertical beams. This is very important because of the X gantry. Changes in the length of the X gantry will influence the distance between the vertical beams. The community guide covers this step in great detail, so please read it carefully. In this video, I will just show you how I did it with my printer. Start by placing both vertical beams in front of the small 20 by 80 profiles. Place them roughly at the same distance between each other as they would be if placed in front of the small 2080s. Carefully, slide the X gantry and leave it on top of the Y axis beam. The X gantry will keep both vertical profiles at the ideal distance. Now, see if you can slide the vertical beams in place. Do not, I repeat, do not force them if they do not fit. If the distance between the vertical beams is big enough and you can slide them into position, then you need to check if you have a gap between them and the small 2080s. If there is no gap, then you are in luck and you can proceed to install the vertical beams without modifications. However, if you do find a gap, like I did, measure this gap 
and use shims to rectify this gap. In my case, I have a gap of 0.8 millimeters. But if the distance between the vertical beams is small enough to keep them from sliding into position, it means that the X gantry is too short and you will need to add shims between the plates and the profiles to increase its length. I was able to find 0.2 mm shims, so I will use 0.4 mm on each side. Remove the X gantry and install the vertical beams. Place the shims and secure the beams with brackets. Make sure that they are perfectly aligned and square.
the end, make sure everything is tight and the shims are in fact secure between the profiles. Place the X gantry again. Measure the distance at the bottom and at the top. The distance must be the same. Now, grab the top beam. Don't forget to check the length of this top beam first. In my case, the length of the top profile was an exact match with the vertical beam's distance. The length of this top beam must be checked because if the beam is too short, you will need to add shims to it. But if by any chance the top beam is too long and does not fit between the vertical beams, you will need to add more shims at the bottom and also at the X gantry to increase the distance between the vertical beams so that the top profile can fit in. At this point, you will only install it temporarily, so it doesn't matter which brackets you use and how to install it. The idea is just to get the top of the vertical beams secured so that they cannot move. I will use the stock brackets because they are easier to install at this point. Now, with the top profile placed and secured, test the X gantry up and down movement. It must run smooth all the way. And this concludes the vertical beams installation. Stay tuned for the next step.